Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to another episode of a 1.18 SMP. I'm here back in Stockholm uh, in this new area, which I've not named yet, but I am absolutely loving it here. And I've done some work on the tailor since the last episode, primarily the interior and a little bit of the path along with a big tree. But I'll start with the inside. Here we've got a uh, just the top of the balcony, not really anything up here. This roof was real awkward to design because it's not a like straight it, you can see like it's kind of curves and it's oh it's, that was awful but i figured it out and then got here the balcony that looks down into the actual room and i i love i just love this i love balconies i think more buildings should have balconies and i also got a window up there which connects into another room which is yet to be built but i like having the idea of having them connected together like this and the stairs lead down into here where we've got some tables with some folded clothes and some display cabinets with some really garish, poorly matched clothes, but I think it looks fun. And I also got this one here on like a little stand, which I think looks great. And just got this uh, room back here, which I also really like the look of. Just there's something about this, this, this here, just looks great. Uh, but this will lead into a fitting room, which uh, is yet to be built, but that's a that's a future me problem. And then. Out here, got like this cool sort of, reminds me of like the, the shrinking door in uh, Willy Wonka. It, Willy Wonka? Charlie and Chocolate Factory, that's it. And then it uh, leads out into a, out to the front here, or back I guess. I wanted to have it, I wanted to have two exits, so have one on the bottom, one at the top. And then here, we've got a tree, but I'm going to look at it from the other side first. So back to the front here, uh, we go around this bit, which is a bit of a new path I've added, and it will take you around to here, which will give you two options. You either go into this room, which will lead you into this other side of the balcony, which I'm going to add something here, probably like a very small shop or a living space. I don't know yet, but I thought having a bit of, uh, just added a bit more dimension to this place. And it was a lot of work trying to figure this out because it's not an easy... Because right beneath this floor is the display cabinets. And I couldn't have any of the blocks poking out. And then like there's this really awkward level here. It's It was it was hell. I figured it out. And from below, the tree looks like this. It looks a bit weird from here. Uh, very, it feels very boxy. But I'll, I'll, I might see if I can make that look better. But I think it's fine. You're not going to be looking up very often. And it's in this sort of like little curve bit here. Here's skeletons. Don't know where they are. Yeah, it's in this like curve which goes down to the entrance that you saw before. Uh, but I think this, I, I love this. It's so visually and it's just visually interesting. I love it. But what, what do I want to do today? Uh, and there is, I don't know. Uh, I think I want to work on a redstone uh, area because I was uh, resupplying the redstone shop earlier. Uh, got a bunch of diamonds. I've got 39 diamonds in total, which is not bad. But I was doing all the crafting in here, and I just didn't feel right to be doing all the redstone crafting inside of the carpenters. That's that doesn't seem right. So I think I want to have a redstone shop or a redstone workshop, which will then like in the in the law will be the thing that supplies my circuitry. One goal that I wanted to do, which I haven't really done much, especially since getting the light show, which is exactly what I did not want to do, is I want to have the uh, all the roads and stuff connect to each other. Have it so this entire server is walkable. People are not making that easy on this server. Joe's living across the ocean. Nicole's living on an island. Uh, Kieran is fine. Andrew, I don't mean know where he is, and like, ugh, god. But I'm gonna try and make everything I need to go between often connected. And in my first episode, you saw that me walking down that road, which connected over here. That is such a long distance across my area. <laughs> my area is not very walkable, but I want to actually work on this path. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but I kind of want to say it out loud, so. Like, people know I want to do it, because, I know I didn't want to fly, but it's not far, like, just, 
Like, that's spawn. That's my path. But it is far from usable. And then once you actually get over to this area, it is... Well, it's just not a path anymore. You get to this bit here, which is nice. And then it just, you go up here, and then... Oh, look, there's just... Stuff. There's a, a weird stone platform. Got some, like... Dirt and pods all just kind of piled up. And then once you actually get over to this side... And then once you're actually over here, you're met with... You're met with a wizard tower and a sheer drop. It's, uh... It's less than ideal. Uh, especially if you want to use a horse, which I do want to use a horse, or a donkey, or a mule, or whatever you want to call one. And it's, yeah, it's less than ideal, so I'm going to figure that out at some point. I think I might make two ways of getting through, like a, a, a tunnel, like down there maybe, and then an actual way over the top of the hill. But I have zero plans for that, so I think that will be a future project, possibly next episode, maybe this episode if I run out of ideas. This is new. This. Wait, probably shouldn't press buttons or stuff that isn't... I don't know what to do. But there's nothing actually connected to this chest. It was chicken though. I think this is Kieran. He was asking me for eggs and that's how the whole egg hunt thing started. Oh, I'm talking about the egg. Uh, guess who has lost the egg? This guy. Kieran came along and nicked it. He found it in my super secret hiding place, which was the barn. I put it on the windowsill, and somehow he found it. Uh, it wasn't that hard. But, he's hidden it, and I had a little look around a while ago, and I could not find it. But, I'm going to have another look now. He said it's easier than the first spot, but the first spot was the first place I looked, so... Clearly, it's harder. I, I don't fully know Kieran's area well enough to get an idea of where the egg is. I realize I've not brought the tools to actually break the egg, but I can I can make from Kieran. I've got the torch. I need to find a piston. Kieran's area is very dark. It's not very helpful. Oop, hello. So there's two main sections to Kieran's base. You've got down and you've got over here. Uh, and over here is a geothermal research center. I already had a look down here. I did not find it. I'm terrible at hide and seek. So this game he's introduced is less than ideal for me. Whee! Okay, and the other area is down here, which is his storage system. So I've got my uh, little village area, which is semi-automated as my storage system, and then Kira's got this, like, so cool, but also, Jesus Christ, just keeps on going. It's so big. If he has put it in there, I need to figure out how to get in there, but I don't think it is in there. I, I don't see it anywhere. That's so fast. Ah. Oh, I don't have fire falling. That could have been bad. That could have been my first death in ages. Oh, let's forget that happened. Technically, this is Kieran's base. I doubt he would have thought to put it here. But maybe. Oh man, I thought I was being so clever, but uh, it's not here. Maybe it's in there. Uh, how do I get down without breaking my kneecaps? I don't know if you would count shops as being his. Ow! Got a punch bow. He counts shops as being part of his uh, his base. Can't believe it. <laughs> Check. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, I got the egg. Uh, e easier than the first one, eh? I guess, technically, if I'd, I could have just found it by just wandering. I've been to this shop. I have shopped here. 
<laughs> I have looked at the maps. Like, he's made maps for all, like, some of our areas and stuff. Like, he's got his area, Fort Brick, which really doesn't look like much on a map. And then he's got my camp, which uh, does look like something on the map. And then he's got Ferrumstead, his area, which doesn't really look like much on the map. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've shopped here since he had the egg, and I didn't notice it. Uh, and also, one more shop that's opened here is... Uh, Joe is opening up a shopping area called Blocky Harbour, based on Akihabara from uh, Japan. I think it's in Tokyo, I'm not certain though. Uh, and he... Should be... Oh. But he sells gunpowder, which is exceptionally useful. I've already bought all this there, which I've been using in my rocket supply. But two stacks for one diamond, cheap as chips, so I am um, making... Use of that. Kieran bought seven shulker boxes of it the, the second it opened because he, he wanted to do TNT blast mining. <laughs> but I need to go find myself somewhere to hide this egg and then uh yeah. It has been a few days since the last clip and no one's actually found the egg yet, which I'm quite surprised at. Though my area is on the larger side, so I guess there's a lot more nooks and crannies to check out and it's, uh, it's a bit hard to find. It's like needle in the haystack sort of but I've been doing a bit of work around here just to add a bit of life, bit of personality to the area as if people actually live here. So I've got like a little stall here, I've got a cave which will lead into my stonemason area once I actually get around to building it. Uh, got some barrels scattered around, got like a clothes line which I really like. I, I just think that's a great way of adding a bit of life to the area. Then I got the cliff which I've moved over a bit and put in a some uh, wall side or cliffside buildings along with some gears because this is going to be my redstone workshop and I plan on doing this this episode and I think anything else I did uh, got this bit here just as like a, an extra add-on just to add a bit more verticality to the area but anyway I want to work on here I love these gear designs they were made by someone I need to look that up but what my plan is for the interior of this is that I have basically no plan. All I know is I want to have it be multi-layered but open. It's like an open room with like an, almost like an interior balcony that leads up to like there which will then take you to the top of the cliff to add a bit more verticality to the area. So very quickly, whoop, there you go. Just have somewhere up here to look down from. And maybe even connect into like these buildings. I don't know. I'll that's a long way off. For now, I just need to get in a floor. Get in. I think this is about the size of the room I want. Uh, I'm thinking I'll start off with just like a checkered floor of andesite and polished andesite. Okay, got the floor in. And need to put the walls in now, but I don't know what walls I want. Maybe I could do keep the terracotta and have like cave walls. That'd be interesting. Or should I just stick with the deep slate? I might stick with the deep slate. Yeah, I'll stick with deep slate. Just to not rock the boat too much. Effectively, I need to clear my inventory as well. Okay, I have now built up a uh, all the walls. I've run out of the cracked bricks, so I'll probably put in all the decoration first, um, and then I'll go about ruining them. But there's some kind of gaps here because they need to be due to the way that I've terraformed outside. I guess if I can work around them before I just uh, tear them out, like maybe I could put like a pillar here, do this, and there we go. That corner is now hidden. Uh, and do the same on this side, maybe. Then I want to have the balcony over this side, so I'll do the same here. Maybe... I don't know how big I want it. I think I'll do 2x2, two two, or 4x4, four four, I guess. So I think what I'll have is have it so there's like a workshop here, and then have a raised up balcony here-ish. 
then require me to do this. So I have the work, have me actually build the parts here and then over here have like a staircase that comes down. That's a bit too much, I think. This. And have it go into a two by. That's more reasonable. I'll go with this for now. Then work from it, with it from there. Yeah, okay. This wall I want to have gears and such. This wall I want to have construction area. I'll do that bit first. Because I want to have the functionality in place before I get other stuff in place. I need more, need more lighting around here. Use some lanterns for now. Okay, this is a nice amount of area for me, so I need to make a like a workstation akin to the one over there. And what do I need to actually make redstone components? And really the answer is just a crafting table. Make another crafting table. Have that like here. Have that forward by a block. And then have a boost table? Yeah, that's all right. And then I think I'll just have a. I need a making a chest. Best monster time. Need. I think I'll have a facade here. Uh, out of stripped spruce. Of dark oaks. That's just to hide that ugly gap. I think I'll do the same thing I did on the bottom, but with dark oak. This is how I build, really. Just. Take a step back, watch in, stick a back, step back, watch in. So I kind of want some redstone components and stuff here, so I think I have a loose shulker box of redstone goods. Okay. So this has like some components scattered around. I have some candles around. If I'm being uh, working under candlelight. Wall's a bit bland, so I might. Well, there's only stone behind here, so I could do, theoretically, some fake shelves. Okay, and then I can have something there. I don't know what, though. Okay, I need to actually have somewhere to store stuff. Actually, I could use this facade here as a, a question I have. Uh, let's quickly face. Can I open a shulk box through a thing? I cannot. Comparators block boxes. To know. Uh, I'm gonna have space to put like shulker boxes and but for now I'll just put barrels. Is that enough? Should I do more? Should I do less? I do not know. I think I want something. Yeah so let's do some more stairs. What was it? Stairs. So I'm going to try doing this, this, that. just add a bit more decoration design to it. Uh, I need to put some trapdoors up there, but I think that's good for now. I don't like how dark it is, but once I light the candles it should be fine. I'm going to go look for the fin and steel actually, and I get some more wood while I'm out there. There we go, that's nicer. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I might leave this open actually. S instead, just have it so I can put shulker boxes there when I need. I have a few in just for the sake of looks. So, this is that bit done. So, now I just need to turn my attention to over here, which is mainly gonna be made out of copper, probably. I'm gonna keep the same aesthetic I have going out here, but like inside here. So, I have some copper gears, different sizes, doing absolutely nothing. I need a roof. I don't know what the roof's gonna be. I never know what to do with roofs. Actually, I've been liking the roofs I've been doing, so over like here... Oh my god. It's yeah, so over here I've got these like... these kind of things. I think this looks lovely and I... it, I keep building them by accident and I genuinely don't know what the theory is behind them. But I don't think that's gonna work for this room. I think I'll just do a pretty bog-standard vaulted ceiling. 
I might make it so like this bit is kind of raised up a bit more. Actually, that's that there is the 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 top, like that's the floor of the cliff. So that's kind of, that layer there is kind of the limit of where I can work. Do a just a thin layer of spruce along the top. I have struggled saying the word spruce. This doesn't feel natural off my tongue. I think that being spruce is fine. Might make it into slabs, I don't know. Uh, it's this bit here. I want to keep that bit there, I like that a lot. But maybe I should just extend the top of the cliff. Just put like a... Yeah, this here breaks through directly into there. Which is less than ideal. So, unless I just lowered this entire bit down block? I like this. I, I don't want to change this. Mm. I said the ceiling be trapdoors. Do something like... Okay. How does that look? That looks... Fine. I like that. Yeah, I quite like that, actually. Uh, I'm gonna... Change that, though. And then I'm gonna do a, another pillar here. I think I might actually put like a door here. I don't know if the door's gonna go anywhere, but I'll have it there just as I can. Yeah, I kind of like that. Or should, or instead, should I have uh, this like that, and then more fences to keep with the caged theme. Yeah, that's better. Okay. This is coming along. So, gears can go here's. Honestly, the gears might not even work, really. With how I've done this now. I'll try them. Well, unable to access the online servers anymore, so... I guess that's where the episode ends. I hope you all enjoyed the episode, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!